Hello, welcome to Paul's Take. Today we're going to talk about fuel consumption. These are some ways to save your money at the pump because gas prices are getting out of control. Or they are out of control already, but it might get worse. So here's some quick trips on how to save money on gas. First, drive only when needed. The most impactful way to reduce fuel consumption is simply by driving your car less. Combine trips, walk a little, it's not going to hurt you. Avoid idling your car. This one's a tough one for me because I like to take my lunches in my car and take little naps in the air. So I'll have to like take lunches and breaks in the break room. How horrible of a thought is that? Accelerate and brake steady. So accelerate steady and slow. Don't like floor it all the time. And also when you're coming to a red light, don't just like have your foot on the gas to the last minute hit the brakes. Just let off your gas, coast. Hopefully the light will change before you get there and then you won't have to accelerate from a stop. Watch your speed. After 60 miles an hour, your car gets horrible gas mileage. It gets worse and worse as you get faster and faster, especially if you're in a high profile vehicle like a Jeep or a truck. Use, use cruise control when driving on the highway when you can. Okay, that's kind of a given. Now, and if you're careful, I never really noticed a big difference on that, but it's always recommended that you use cruise control when you can. The, the computer is better than you are. Keep your windows closed on your vehicle. It's more aerodynamic. Windows open causes more drag. Even when it's hot and you gotta like put on the AC, it's still better gas mileage than having the windows down, especially if you have your windows down and the AC on at the same time. That's even worse. Here in a Jeep though, if you have the top completely removed, not halfway, completely off, you did, you actually get better gas mileage. That's what I heard. Uh, get rid of all your clutter. Don't drive anybody in your car. Keep the weight of your vehicle as light as possible. It's not a storage locker. It's not something to carry your junk in. At every 100 pounds, it's equivalent to 10 more horsepower. So by reducing weight, you have more power and better gas mileage. Shop around. Of course, you don't want to like drive an hour to get, you know, a little bit cheaper gas. But if you know one particular gas station is cheaper, go to that one. It'll be cheaper. Oh, air pressure on your tires. Very important. You always want to keep your tires um, at the proper PSI, air pressure. Um, but, now you shouldn't do this. I wouldn't do this. But I hear people do. I'm just going to pass it on, just so you know what not to do to get better gas mileage. It's always recommended to use the recommended air pressure that's on the car, not on the tire, because the tire, because the car tells you what's best for the vehicle um, and the ride quality and all that stuff. But a lot of like truck tires, their PS, their, their maximum air pressure capacity is considerably higher than a recommended for your vehicle. So you can, it's not going to hurt the tire if you run it higher with more air pressure. Now, of course, the negative is you have less traction. You won't be able to stop as fast. You'll be able to accelerate as fast. You can lose control going around a corner. All these bad things could happen. So it's not recommended that you do that. And it actually wears out the tires faster. But higher air pressure does get less resistance on the tire, on the wheel, and you do get better gas mileage. Do it at your own risk. I say, don't do it. Alrighty, that's my tips. Well, not really mine, but there's kind of like the given tips on reducing, help reduce the price of gas or dealing with these high gas prices. Find the quickest route too. I did that the other day on the way to work. It turned out I wasn't going, I kind of figured it out though, but I kind of knew that. But nonetheless, I saved four miles on my way to work each trip. So check Google Maps and find out what's the most direct route to your work or wherever you're going. Thanks for watching Paul's Take. Please hit like subscribe for more videos.